Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about Vision OS 1.1. Apple has officially released the first beta for Vision OS. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys what's new with the latest beta for the next major update coming to Vision OS 1.1. Now, if you want to venture into trying Vision OS 1.1 Beta 1, I'll link Apple's developer website in the description down below. And once you register, you want to jump into settings, you want to jump into general, you want to go into software updates, and you want to select the beta update section. And of course, select Vision OS Beta. Once you select that, you can refresh and you'll be able to update to Vision OS. 1.1 developer beta 1 there it is as you can see right there the latest build number is 2105181e now of course a vision os 1.1 will most likely be in beta for about a month and a half or so we're expecting this one to drop alongside ios 17.4 mid to early march now i want to talk about a few things that are new here at least that i've noticed are new here the first thing is personas apple has prompt you once again to reset your persona with vision os 1.1 and let me show you what this looks like so right here it is as you can see, the skin tones look, in my opinion, more natural. The mouth movements also, you can see the eyes look more natural. Even the hand movements, in my opinion, look a lot better with this version of Personas with Vision OS 1.1. It is still in beta, as you can see right there. But I think Apple has definitely improved how Personas look with Vision OS 1.1. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Now, another great new feature added to Vision OS 1.1 is iMessage contact key verification. So if I go into my iCloud settings and I scroll all the way to the bottom of the list, I will find the contact key verification. Of course, this is a feature available within iOS. It was not available for Vision Pro and it is now available on Vision OS 1.1. As you can see right there, it is fully functional. I can enable or disable the feature. iMessage contact key verification or contact key verification will allow you to prevent any eavesdropping from happening in the messages application or anyone from impersonating anyone in your contacts. Now, a lot of you guys are asking for Find My. Is Find My finally enabled? for Vision Pro. And I have to say, no, currently is only available for activation lock. I'm sure Apple will add the Find My for Vision Pro in the future. We don't even have the application just yet, as you can see right here. But I'm pretty sure Find My will be enabled for Vision Pro in coming software updates, hopefully within the next couple of betas with Vision OS 1.1. Now, aside from this, there's also additional things that have been added to Vision OS, such as the ability to reset an Apple Vision Pro if you forget your password. Believe it or not, with Vision OS 1.0, you could not reset your Vision Pro if you forgot your password. Vision OS 1.1 beta lets users reset the Vision Pro even if you forget your password thankfully. Now, Vision OS 1.1 also lets users bring 3D objects a lot closer. Now, I was testing this out, and I'm happy that this option has been enabled. As you can see, more details now on 3D objects by bringing them closer to you. Now, aside from this, there's also additional information found within the code. Now, you won't be able to make calls while in guest mode or travel mode is enabled on your Vision Pro. So, this is something that is now found within the code of Vision OS 1.1. And there you guys have it. That is everything I wanted to share with you guys in today's video in regards to Vision OS 1.1 Beta 1. Let me know what you think about the latest updates. Are there some features that you would like to see Apple add to Vision OS before the official release of Vision OS 1.1? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.